Hey, what's going on, guys? Jones167 here, and today we do have a FIFA 17 squad builder. And it is a fairly expensive one, about 200 or so, okay? So let's get on with it. In net, we do have the German goalkeeper from PSG, and that is Kevin Trapp. Pretty decent goalkeeper, in my opinion. As you can see, pretty consistent stats. His speed isn't the greatest, but it's not too bad. And he, in my opinion, was actually a very, very good goalkeeper. Did keep me in a lot of games with some absolutely outstanding saves and just played very, very consistently throughout the 11 games that I did play with him. The right back we do have is Licksteiner from Juventus. Very, very good right back. High, high work rate. So he gets up, gets down. He's everywhere on the pitch. 81 pace, 79 defend, and 8 physical. Very, very good stats for a right back, and I'd definitely recommend trying him out. The right centre back we do have is uh, Loic Perrin. As you can see, he's got 70 pace. 84 defending and 80 physical, medium medium work rates, played 11 games with him, he didn't score any goals but he is a centre back and a very very good one at that, very good defending and decent physical and his pace, although it's 70 it's not the highest, it still is pretty decent. The left centre back we do have is Yanga and Biwa. did used to play for Newcastle but he does play for Leon now, he's got 72 pace, 81 defending and 79 physical, medium medium work rate so he stays back and he did manage to score me a goal which was actually a... I think it was the winner, it was a header, he was just in the box for some reason and uh, he managed to nod it home which was quite nice. The left back we do have is Bernat from uh, Bayern Munich, he can get Alaba if you want but I couldn't really afford him because he is quite expensive as he is, I think he's an 87 this year so quite expensive so I went for Bernat instead, 79 pace, 82 driven, 70, 76 defending, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, he high medium work rate so he does push up a little bit but it's not too bad, and he is fairly fast with 79 pace, so he can get back and help. The CDM we do have is actually a very, very good player, and that is Steven Nzonzi. Doesn't look the greatest with his stats with only 58 pace, but a very, very good player he is. 87 physical, and you really can tell it on the pitch. Absolutely beasting players everywhere, and his pace does feel higher as well. Very, very good CDM. Definitely recommend trying him out. One of my favourite defensive midfielders so far on the game. The... Right mid we do have is another Juventus player, links with Licksteiner, and that is Quadrado. Very, very good player. 92 pace, 75 shooting, 73 passing, and 87 dribbling. 5 star scores helps him out quite a lot. And uh, he didn't manage to get me any goals or assists, but it doesn't really matter too much because he did help in the general attack. Anyway, the left mid we do have is Kings of Comey. He's injured at the moment, which is quite annoying thing off FIFA that people do get injured quite regularly but he is still a very good player. He's got 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, medium low work rate, 93 pace and 84 dribbling, an absolutely lethal combo and a very very good player he is. The centre attack in mid we do have is also injured. <laughs> if you've played the game you'll know how frequent injuries are and how annoying they are. And that is Vieto from uh, Sevilla, gets a link with Anzonzi, he's got 76 pace, 78 shooting, 72 passing and 85 dribbling. Pretty Decent, consistent attacking stats. He is usually a striker, but I did convert him down to centre attacking mid because he does have fairly good passing at 72. And as you can see, he scored me two goals and got five assists. And for only 900 coins, you can't go wrong. The left striker we do have is Ben Yedder. He will be on the next page. Also from Sevilla, so gets the link with uh, Vieto. And he is actually a very, very good striker. He is only 3,000 coins and he did manage to get me 7 goals in 11 games and 3 assists. He's got high, high work rates, which to be honest does let him down a little bit because he is drops back quite a bit. But he does have 83 pace, 78 shooting, 76 passing, 84 dribbling. Very, very good player he is. And just general pace and uh, good shooting. And he has, although he's only got 63 physically, he has got a bit of beef about him. Not the best, as he is only 5 foot 7, but he can... Uh, slice the defence in two and a slot it home. The right strike we do have is the most expensive player in the team and with good reason and that is Paulo Dybala. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 76 passing, 90 dribbling, medium medium work rates, 4 star score moves, 3 star weak foot. Got me 11 goals in 11 games and for a 176,000 coins it is a lot of money but he is a very very good player as you can see by his stats just how good of a player he's going to be and he does perform to that standard in my opinion. Just Absolute unbelievable pace and dribbling to go along with it as well. You will just tear the defence apart and with good shooting as well at 86 will finish it all the time. So that is the team guys. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe for more. Enjoy the clips and I'll see you next time.